Everyone already. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Okay, hi Charlie, everyone. Charlie, by the way. <laughs> hi everyone. Uh, this is our first video that we're doing together for the blog vlog. And, um... With the dog? No. Oh. And, uh, we are going to talk about wedding planning and go through the big to-do list. So, show the binder. We got this great, gigantic binder. From my mama. Who made it with her own two hands. And, she uh, loves us very much. <laughs> and the first section is timeline and to-do, which pretty positive she just printed from something so this is but hey, the comprehensive helpful. list but it's of what people think um is is a to-do list it's from russell and hazel.com all right we got engaged end of december and our wedding is in the middle of november so technically we don't even have the 12 month that this guideline is giving us but we're gonna go with it a lot of people don't yeah. Things first, you gotta tell everybody you know that you're engaged, and so if they don't already know, <laughs> tell them and be super excited and exciting about it. The first thing on the list for 12 months to go is announce engagement. Check. Yeah, true. Gather ideas for your ceremony and reception. That's like, ugh, gather ideas, come on. There's a whole notebook of ideas. Well, I mean... And then there's Pinterest. Everyone's looking at Pinterest anyway, and that's everyone's gathering ideas. You're gathering ideas the whole entire time. Right. That's a you were gathering you ideas before we were engaged, so... Everyone. I mean, you gathered ideas when you were seven and you thought... Mm -hmm. thought Fairy tale going. princess wedding. <laughs> That's not what I was going for when I was seven. <laughs> okay. Go and ahead. subscribe to wedding magazines. Didn't do that. And I wrote in one of my blogs a little bit about this earlier. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Just go they to... They get your like, information somehow anyways. Because well, I get things not from... magazines, but like... You get a bunch of catalogs and crap. Right. But go to a bridal fair and you'll you might just get some for free, or just ask your friends, hey, do you have any of your old magazines? Or, and sure, sure. Or ask even me. like I'll give you all. I have a huge stack. You can just take it. Whatever. Or even some of the wedding venues that you're touring. Oh yeah. We went to one in Oregon City and they're like, oh, here's three different brides magazines that you can look at. And we're like, okay, keep sweet, them. keep them. Begin dress research. Sure. Research. Try out a bunch of dresses. Have fun with that. Set a wedding date. How did we even pick our wedding date? I think we looked at, like, well, three-day weekends. Well, we looked at venues first. Oh. I, I think this it should be venues first, because what if you have your heart set on a day, and then you can't find a place? Uh-huh. That's going to make it harder for you. So be kind of open. And that is a little bit out of order. And also, sidetrack side on... Dates. It's cheaper in the middle of the week, and it's cheaper in the winter time. And one of the venues, literally, if you went from October to November, just one month different, you saved like three thousand dollars on a venue. And it's ridiculous. Uh, specifically, a lot of people are like, "Why wouldn't you have it over Thanksgiving weekend? Because we already have that time off, and I'm already gonna be visiting and blah 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 blah." Because the people who don't. That's more expensive for flights to come. Yeah, it's more expensive to travel. So that's, that was our thought process, is we don't want to make people spend a lot of money to travel. Delegate agreed responsibilities to your groom. <laughs> I don't know why that's a funny one. <laughs> you should do a lot of that. No. Don't sound like you don't want to be... I do want to, I just don't want to do a lot of things. Neither do I! How is that fair? I don't know. I don't give, want to do stuff. Right. Give the groom things that, I mean, obviously, honeymoon is, is his, and then give him things that he's better at, and or things that he knows, and like, or if I'm you really talking want to somebody something. about sound, sound equipment, or... Or if you really want something, you've got to right. be in charge of that. You Great. can be in charge of what you wear. You're an adult. I don't feel like one. Well, neither do I, but... Yeah, Apparently I'm we're going to be adults together, so... Else. I'm doing everything else, and that's just not fair. I know... Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Oh. Oh. Discuss groom's cake ideas, if having. No. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I didn't have any ideas anyways, so we're good. Well, that's ridiculous. You can like a cake together. It's a cake. Like... 
Oh, Why you're talking you... the separate cake. I thought yeah. you were talking the actual wedding cake if the groom had any wedding cake ideas. Oh, no. You should both, it's, that's you a both thing? Get... Yeah, you haven't seen that? I'll show you later. That's, You're no. not getting one. I don't want my own cake. That's kind of just ridiculous. It's like extra money because they're going to be pouty, and they always look like two-year-old's birthday cakes. That's... Why? Practically. And bachelor, bachelorette parties. They have that a month out. Weird. That's weird, yeah. Uh, write your wedding speech toast. Isn't that for... I don't think we have to give speeches. That's other people, right? Yeah, that's that's the maid of honor and the Cross best man. Cross it I'm not right. I'm not giving a speech. Yeah. If you're watching this maid of honor and best man, Josh Alicia, get cracking on your uh, speeches. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just gotta do that in October. Yeah. Prepare bride and groom emergency kits. What's an emergency kit? It's like band-aids and carp. Just in case. Oh. Windex? <laughs> Assemble groom guest room gifts for out-of-town guests. Um, do we have to do that? You guys can steal the soap at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should talk to your mom about that. <laughs> Let's talk to your mom about that. Uh, start breaking in your wedding day shoes. Alright. Okay. I've been wearing mine, but, you know, that was only been mine three or four sweet. months ago. sweet. Yours They're are adorable. They're the coolest shoes to ever exist. Okay, keep talking. Change your last name on necessary forms. Exciting. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be gonna be a Polly. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Emily Filardo. I and think then... you should change your name, that'd be funny. No, I am not changing my name. <laughs> That's the list. The end. There's, yeah, there's a whole other list of things. Good luck, to do. everybody. Yeah.